hello everyone previously we seen the decoder now today we learn the next part of that decoder that is the encoder encoder here is the given in block diagram there is the 2 raised to n input lines and n output lines that is the n means this is opposite of the same as an opposite of decoder in decoder already we seen n bit input code produces high at the output at only one output line in there in short decoder recognizes an input code and accordingly responds but in encoder performs exactly reverse operation the operation is called as an encoding and uh, digital circuit built to perform this operation is called as an encoder and encoder has an input lines and here is an output lines output out of input lines only one is activated at a time and it produces equivalent code in output lines means here is the activate at a time one line here we given detail an encoder is a combinational logic circuit it performs the inverse yeah, reverse operation of decoder it is exactly opposite process of decoding is known as encoding it converts active input signal into coded output signal here is the shown as a block diagram the m input lines and n output lines encoder has a m input lines only one of which is activated at a given time and it produces the output code depending on which input is activated and it is used to translate the rotary or some linear motions into a digital signals the main difference between the decoder and encoder is that decoder has an binary code as an input while encoder while encoder has an binary code as an output here is an same opposite condition of decoding and the encoder is an electronics devices and that converts analog to digital signals such as priority encoder this is a types of encoder decimal to bcd encoder octal to binary encoder hexadecimal to binary encoder we see the details here is the given encoder here is the encoder 4 is to 2 four input lines two output lines but that two are connected as an decoder for 2 is to 4 that is the two as an output of encoder but it acts as an input of decoder for 2 is to 4 this 2 is to 4 means here we get the four outputs lines means it is the cascading with encoder as an with the decoder it is given m is an 4 that is the 4 lines m equal to 2 raised to 2 then we get 4 that 2 means we get the n value that is the output line of encoder m is the input and n is the output lines see here some animation oriented here given 
जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो वन वन इन प्रेस प्रेवियली हियर इज द ऑल द स्विचेस आर क्लोज स्विच हियर ऑल्सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस स्विच वन जीरो ए टू स्विच मीन्स इट इज एक्टिव पिन दैट डेटा वन जीरो इल बी comes here as an output of encoder and that output of encoder it is given as an input of decoder and we gets re remaining will be close see 10 will be gets as output of decoder and that switch will be gets open next priority encoder the name itself says that is the It will be depends on priorities. The output code is an invalid. Therefore, we have to modify this circuit. In modification, such that we have to define the priority of the given number. It means. That whenever two or more inputs are applied at a time, here is the given two or more inputs applied at a times. Internal hardware will check this condition. Here is the internal hardware will be check this condition. We are applying more inputs, and if the priority is set such that higher number input. should be taken into account here we clear that and remaining are considered as and don't care here we mention here should be taken into an account and remaining are considered as and don't care then output code which will appear will be higher means priority encoder it is depends on the priority number and the it will be said whatever the inputs you are given here also and remaining will be gets uh, don't care this is the highest priority input and this is the lowest priority and we gets the two outputs remaining conditions will be gets don't care condition and using of this truth table we draw here logical diagram now very simple that is the decimal to bcd encoder in decimal to bcd encoder main the criteria of that decimal to bcd it has 10 inputs from 0 to 9 and it corresponding to 10 decimal digits and it having four outputs that is the A B C D representing the B C D, A B C D that is the outputs. Now we have to prepare the truth table for the inputs that is the zero to nine, and outputs will be A B C D that is the representing as an B C D. And B C D it is the valid up to nine. After nine onwards, ten to fifteen it will be considered as and don't care. Here is the input lines. Here is the B C D output zero two nine and A B C D. The at a time it active only one pin as an input. When zero will be active as an input line. In that case, remaining all will be as an input will be gets zero. In that case, zero will be one. In that case, B C D output zero means. Here is the 
weighted code that is the 8421 0 will be high in that case here is the 0 hence no will be active anything but from these nodes second one one number pin is the active remaining will be low in that case 8421 that is the weighted code that is the here one is this vcd output pin will be gets on otherwise we are calling high same two number he gets as per weighted code 8421 two number will be gets high when seven number for example seven number that is that is the 421 that is the will be gets on for example last one eight number nine number means a that is the weighted code eight four will be off two will be off means eight and one that is the nine that is in using of this input and output lines you directly takes the equations and draw the logical diagram here we take the equation from using of truth table the it is clear that a is high when when 8 and 9 will be high means therefore a equal to 8 plus 9 same b is high when see the table b is high when 4 5 6 7 will be gets high check here c is high when 2 or 3 or 6 or 7 is high similarly d for 1 3 5 7 9 means this is the decimal to bc and using of this a equal to 8 plus 9 b equal to we draw here logical diagram this is the given 5 volt switches 0 to 9 for example a is on high when 8 plus 9 that is the 8 number pin and 9 number we connected we here with pari same second one 4 5 6 7 will be gets high it will be connected same remaining pins we connected next one octal to binary encoder it has in eight inputs and uh, three outputs only one input has a one value at uh, any given time each input corresponding to each octal digit and output will be generated as in binary code same as in previous bcd to decibel but here is the given octal hence eight numbers will be valid same in previous condition 0 to 7 for example j7 will be gets active in that case as per weighted code here is the three output pins that is the 4 2 1 is the decimal sorry weighted code then 4 2 1 will get 7 means that is the all the three output pins will be get start here as per the truth table for x purpose 5 4 5 6 will be gets on y purpose 2 3 6 7 will be on 1 3 5 7 from that assumption only one input is high at a, any given time if two inputs two outputs are high then it is undefined output will be produced for example d3 and d6 are high and then output of encoder will be 111 this output neither equivalent code will present for d3 or nor d6 and for this overcome purpose we use the priority should be assigned to each input and from truth table it is clear that the output x becomes 1 if any of the following digit that is the 4, 5, 6, 7 is 1. For example, D, D0 is considered as a don't care because it is not shown in expression. 
if inputs are zero then output will be zero similarly if d0 is 1 output will be gets zero as per the equations here we draw the diagram for 4 5 6 7 for x purpose here 4 5 6 7 here is the plus sign is hurrying with each other 2 3 6 7 that is the 2 3 6 7 1 3 5 7 that is the 1 3 5 7 we get these equations and I hope we, you clear the concept of encoder as well as types of encoder for that purpose we here attached one link I will play the video you check that video same that in video also it will be clear that concept this is the animated overview area We have already completed two topics in our combinational circuit that were the multiplexers and the comparators. Now in this presentation, we will study the introduction to the encoders and decoders. They are also the combinational circuit and they fall under the MSI medium scale integrated circuit group. And uh, after this, we are having the LSI large scale integrated circuit. If you remember, the multiplexers were also the part of this MSI. Okay. And uh, if I talk about the encoder, then there are N inputs, as you can see here, and M output. Now there is a relation between this input M and the output M that we will see now. Before that, let me tell you that the function of decoder is opposite to the encoder, not very special. What we are going to encode, we have to decode it later on. If you are sending a data, and the encoded data you can save from the senders and then you have to decode it at the receiver end to get what actually the data was okay i hope you have already heard about this words encoders and decoders and have a small intuition about this so let's say if i'm having an encoder this is our encoder and in this if i'm having four inputs okay this is let's say four cross i don't know what is the value of m because we have to find out the relation between n and m and this is our encoder okay let's say this is i0 i1 i2 and i3 they are the four inputs now very important thing that i'm going to tell you for these encoders is that it is used to minimize the number of data lines for example if i say out of this four input if a single input is high all the time okay either i0 is high i1 is high i2 is high or i3 is high but a single input will be high for each and every cases then what is the need to just use these four data lines if a single input is high you already know that if there are four inputs i can have two bits to represent them i0 can be represented as 00, zero. i1 is 0 1 1 0 and then 1 1 so instead of having four data lines, I can have two data lines, okay? So the value of M will be two. Let's take one example. If I say I2 is high, then instead of send sending these four lines in which these three lines is not high and have no use, I can send two lines in which the first bit will be one and the second bit will be zero. And at the receiver's end, it can be decoded again by using a 2 cross 4 decoder this question mark will be now 2 we have figured it out and uh, it is getting 1 0 and we know that 1 0 in binary if there is 1 0 it gives us what 2 so this is O2 output 2 2 in decimal so what we were having high as I2 and at this point we again got O2 and O2 and I2 are same so instead of sending the four data lines we send the two data lines that you can see here this is the core use of your encoders and decoders okay and uh, there are different types of decoders possible that we will see before that let me generalize this relation that we just found out if n is what four that was your input i can write n as two to the power two 
where m is 2 this is your m m is 2 so i can write m is equal to 2 to the power m this is the relation between the number of inputs and the number of output in your n coders and in case of decoders the relation will just change the n will become n and m will become n it's so let's take example in which i have made 8 cross 3 encoder and the decoder 3 cross 8 okay in this we are having 8 input and because of 8 input the value of output will be 3 because we just figure out if n is equal to 8 which can be written as 2 to the power m the m will be equal to 3 fine and instead of sending 7 plus 1 8 data lines we will send only 3 data lines this is the advantage of the encoder the data has been encoded let's say if i7 let's say here not i7 let's say if i5 is high and 5 is what 101 in binary so this o1 will equal to 1 this o2 will equal to 0 and this o3 will equal to 1 and this information will be decoded at this end and again o5 will be high okay so this is the function of your encoders and decoders and it is very important there is one more important use of this encoders and decoder is the implementation of the given boolean expression if you are given the min terms you can easily implement it without using the different gates and the circuits involved that we saw in the multiplexer so it is a very convenient way for the implementation of the logic function the other important thing is the types there are four types of encoders that we have to see the first one is your priority encoder let's see what happened in this particular type of encoder if i say instead of only one input being high let's say two inputs are high i3 and i5 then what will be the output of the encoder it depends upon the priority that we set either we will set the low priority the bits with the lower order is much prior or we set the priority with the bits having the higher order so that we will see separately in the lecture when we discuss the priority encoder the second type of encoder is your decimal to bcd encoder the third type is your octal to binary encoder and the fourth and the last encoder that we have to see is your hexadecimal to binary encoder so this is all for this presentation a uh, small introduction about the encoders from the next presentation we will discuss the encoders and decoders i hope you clear the concept of encoder with the um, types and with video okay we will stop here now we see the next part in next lecture thank you